Hello, everyone. I hope you all are well. Sean Osonga back again with another episode on Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can identify a phishing campaign, leveraging the Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence solution. And we're going to showcase you how you can leverage the different data sets around going about this process. Now, let's get into what's the process in terms of how to do it. Great. So the first thing that we need to do in this process is we need to identify the target for our investigation. Now, the process in terms of what we're trying to do is seeing a phishing campaign that would be targeting a common domain within um, our own environment. What we're going to be looking at is a Microsoft authentication site for Office 365 known as logincdn.msauth.net. The goal in terms of what we're trying to achieve here is we identify the phishing campaign through common patterns leveraging the MDTI capability. So moving on, let's get in towards the portal. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is getting access towards the MDTI portal. Now, there are two ways uh, in terms of how you can get access towards the portal and use MDTI as a solution if you have a premium license. One is by accessing it through the MDTI workbench, which can be accessed through ti.defender.microsoft.com. The other way, if you have a premium license, is to access it through the Microsoft 365 Defender Portal. Now, for you to do that, all you need to do is go towards the Threat Intelligence Blade, and you should be surfaced with the following options to access towards it. Now, so kickstarting the process, the first thing that we're going to do is go towards the search bar on Intel Explorer and type in the domain at which is of interest towards us. Now, the domain, as stated earlier, was logincdn.msauth.net, which is a Microsoft authentication site that different users use to gain access towards M365 and its services. All I need to do is type in the domain and proceed with the search button. As you do this, you are surfaced with information from Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence, which is basically the data that we have actually crawled towards the internet and actually surfaced towards our customers. You see the domain, you see a reputational score, the first seen, last seen date, the registrar, which would be part of its who is information, and a degree of different data sets that are in line with the intelligence that we have in regards towards this domain. Now, if you're familiar with Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence, you know we have a degree of different data sets that help us understand the overall view of particular entities and this is more in line with the global internet graph that we essentially talk about what i'm particularly interested in is a data set known as host pairs and host pairs essentially give us visibility of a parent and child relationship against websites and the different activities they have between them essentially i'm interested in understanding um, the websites that are trying to communicate with this specific domain and most importantly, what specific activities they are trying to illuminate. In this case, how I can determine that is by going towards the cause filter and it will actually give me a different degree of options based off of the intelligence that it has identified. Whether it's an image source, scripting activities, importing CSS, amongst other scenarios can all be identified. So what I need to do is target towards the child host name and basically look at that domain which we're interested in, which is login cdn.msauth.net. And I'm particularly interested in understanding the image source cause. So in, essentially, I'm trying to understand who's trying to basically pull images from this specific domain. In this case, the scenario we're trying to identify is who's trying to pull um, a login image directly from um, the login CDN MS off.net and use it as a potential phishing campaign from an overall structure perspective. Once I do that, it surfaces me with a couple of domains and I'm really interested in understanding more information about these domains. So the first thing I'll do is click on the first host 
and that uh, should basically go towards the search bar and give me more information in regards towards the specific host. I'm really interested in this one because it says OneDrive uh, portaily.versal.app. Um, from the BAT, we get great intel uh, from MDTI that tells us that the reputational score is 100. Um, it's an active host, the registrar, and the fact that the registrant is also data protected. The reputational score is 100, but most importantly, we're seeing that it has been identified by Microsoft as part of an indicator that's related to a known phishing campaign. On top of that, we're seeing different insights, right? Um, the IP has been block listed. There's a new subdomain that has been created about three hours ago that could potentially indicate suspicious activity. And the fact that it's also resolving towards an IP address can be detailed as potentially malicious. If I go towards its own interaction and I click towards the host pairs, we see about 10 interactions and we can see it also targeting another Microsoft authentication site uh, on top of other defined scenarios. Now, the key thing that we're trying to determine here is, it a, is it a particular pattern where we see sites connecting towards this authentication sites and pulling images to sort of uh, use it as a potential phishing campaign. So to confirm that, I go back um, towards the login CDN msauth.net towards the host pair page and sort of select um, two other hosts, right? So I'll select this one, I'll select this one, I'll probably select another random one and essentially look and see if indeed we're seeing a similar pattern. So I move over towards uh, the next host that we created, uh, or which we've selected, I mean, and as it loads, we're also seeing a common uh, view from a pattern perspective, reputational score 100. It's also part of the block list and in this time it clearly states that it's impersonating a Microsoft brand. The infrastructure hosted is also suspicious behavior and we're seeing other defined elements as well. If I move over towards the other domain, similar to what we're seeing, a malicious score of 100. It's also part of the phishing uh, campaign that's impersonating a Microsoft brand. And this is basically just denoting what I said, a common pattern across uh, different ways uh, which we're seeing that's targeting our authentication site. Last but not least, I'll look at the last domain, going towards the summary page. And as it loads, it indeed confirms that this is the process, that it's a pattern of sites basically pulling images and running a phishing campaign in regards to Microsoft. So maybe I'd want to know more information in regards towards this specific domain. Uh, one of the key advantages that we have with uh, Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence is as a capability, we have the ability to run um, detonation intelligence for both file hashes and malicious URLs. In this case, I'm interested to understand what is the URL that somebody is clicking to essentially get that image that they have basically pulled from uh, the login CDN msauth.net site. So to do that, I uh, basically add a HTTP reference and uh, put that reference on the search bar and click on search. And as you can actually see, it detonates that URL and indeed it tells me it's part of a known phishing campaign the URL has traits with credential phishing campaigns. And if I move over here, I can actually see the detonated screenshot. And in this case, on the back end, um, you can actually see a Microsoft site, a OneDrive site, but you're actually seeing a login page that's saying uh, authenticate your essential details. Now, of course, this is not um, an authentic or legit site and the whole element of this is to harvest your credentials and use it for overall malicious activity. Now essentially we can say the pattern which we are experiencing is um, attackers targeting um, an authentication site and basically pulling images and we're able to identify those sites 
as potentially malicious. And this can be applied across the board. All you would need to do is come and look at the interrelations with host pairs across different sites to determine ways on potential attacking activities. It could be phishing campaigns, it could be other defined areas. And with that, I would like to close my overview in terms of showcasing to you how you can identify a phishing campaign leveraging Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. Thank you.